Uh, well, alright then. Hello again, folks, and welcome to a new Let's Play. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. And this is Inscription. A, um, interesting game from what I've seen. Now, full disclosure, I am not going into this completely blind. Uh, I have seen gameplay of the first section of the game. Mostly because it was one of those things where I was like, okay, I, I don't know if I could really bring myself to play an entirety of it, but I'll watch someone else stream it. And, um... First part seems fine, but every single time that I try to get into later parts of the game, uh, watching anyways, it, I end up kind of just falling asleep, which is most unfortunate because it seems like it's interesting. Now, again, I am playing this for the incentives that ha I've been placing forth where I am raising money for trying to move both me and my folks out of the middle of the desert and back into uh, a location that is not a desert. So thank you everyone who has donated and tipped uh, and watched my videos at a plot that has all gone to payouts through YouTube. Immensely helpful. You don't even know the half of it. And if you wish to contribute to said move, uh, I do have links in my YouTube's banner thing where you can go to my stream elements and do so there but with that out of the way let's play creepy card game uh nope okay, okay. Mm, that hello darkness my old friend Another challenger it has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how the game is played. Allow me to remind you. Oh. Play this rural card. Sir, are you looking at my hand? Uh, it doesn't matter where. Now play your stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Oh, that's what that blood symbol means. Okay. It's also been a while since I had last played or last watched anything about this game, so. Wolves require two sacrifices, you don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The m number on the bottom left is its attack power one. Your stoat dealt one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Deck. How reckless of you. Yeah, that is pretty, uh... Pretty silly of me, wasn't it? Well. Yeah, I think my stoat's dead. Because you are learning, I will pass. You've drawn all the creatures from your deck. A squirrel's your only choice. Okay, so... I guess I'm playing squirrel. And I'll play a wolf. What? Uh... 
You're not the beast to sacrifice, but not removed from your deck. Suffering was real, but you will see, see it again. Cool, good to know. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. Pass. Guess I just play another scroll and pass my turn. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. Oh. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two dozens of the forest approached you tentatively. Caustic Adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Behold the rule book. Oh, when a card bearing this sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. So it will always, it's basically death touch. Got it. The undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Only one may grace your poultry deck. I'll take the cat. I like I like cats. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of an emergency. And have a second. Oh, another useful implement. I'll allow you... It'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. Let me guess, this is a fight. You are ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Oh, so he's going to play a wolf cub. Card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. That's not good. All right, so how strong is the snapper? Okay, I can play the squirrel. I can sacrifice it for the cat. And then I can use the cat for the stoat. Here we go. Take the squirrel. Put that on the board. And... Yeah. And then... Into my turn. I'll work on that stump in a bit. Mind the ambitious wolf cup. It ages swiftly. I got nothing else to really... Play other wolf. Wolf is a three. I can destroy the stump. Ah, oh, shit. Is the river snapper going to be stopped by the bat? A card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. Okay, I think I should be fine then. Should. I could also just. Wait until the wolf cub is going to become a wolf. I could just wait until the wolf cub destroys the boulder, put my wolf in front of it. Nah. Too much risk there. <laughs> Don't really does not appreciate that. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha! 
A bat flew right over your river snapper. But this does mean that the river snapper... River snapper gonna kill the bat. I got one more wolf in the deck right now. Alright. Take a squirrel this turn. And end it. I got this next turn. So I'll pull my final wolf. Play wolf and in turn. Wait. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Ooh. A cheap wolf? Or unblockable? I'll take the cheap wolf. Oh. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Cat. <laughs> you look upon the menagerie and select a healthy host. Pick me. <laughs> you know what? You don't like being sacrificed, but with this... What an honor. Now he's undying. A ghastly spectacle. But the soul of the cat now lives in the stoat. So there's going to be one last card on my deck, but I think that's fine. Oh. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Well, that doesn't seem... Terribly fair. Okay. Right. So I don't want to put it on... Hmm. Alright, I'll summon up, summon up the squirrel. Actually, I put... I could put my river snapper there. That's not a terrible idea, I think. Nope, nope. Not the wolf cub. Squirrel. River snapper. And then next turn, I'll draw a squirrel and summon up a wolf cub over here. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. I'm going to take four. Okay, from what it looks like, it seems like it can only take a max of five, but same thing with him. Alright, so with this, both the bat and the coyote should be dead. So he played wolf cub. I don't want that being on the board for too long. Play the squirrel here. In my turn, I'll do four damage, will be even. You're four damage away from winning. So he'll fly, do one damage to me. Summon up. Wolf. I think that's a win. Nope, one more. Just go ahead and squirrel it up. Overkill. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Oh, three options this time. Adder, the proud wolf, 
stalwart snapper. Wait, what's this? Is that just indicating that I have them in my deck already? You know what? I'm gonna keep on going with the wolves. If I'm gonna be made to choose. Hmm. I can't look at my deck. <laughs> I kind of wanna. Oh. Hi. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around the campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that it will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Oh, so this is going to increase their attack power. Let's give it to the snapper. Yeah. The fire warmed the poor river snapper, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the river snapper away from the fire and left. Creepy. Hello. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules? Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. And a grizzly? Oh, that's a bad. Alright, so I can summon up. Yeah, the sparrow's gonna go right over the. Cub. I'll summon the stoke first. Back on the board. Right? This is a good play? Terrible play, watch. Okay, so the Grizz... Yep, alright, that was a bad play. I need to weaken that bear. Squirrel. Uh, two rounds, that barrel will go down. Oh, man. I think the rest of my cards are two sacks. Snapper goes down in a turn. His sparrow's dead. He's going to do five damage to me. I think I lose here. Hmm. Terrible idea. But it stops him from being able to kill me outright. Oh, that sparrow's gonna be able to hit me now, too. Yet. Yeah, I think I'm dead. I, I want to look at the thing. Okay. Oh, squirrel. I ain't got nothing to lose. What does this do? Ah! I would hope for more damage than one if I'm ripping out a tooth. A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. Yeah, well, people do crazy things when they're about to die. Yeah, I'm basically only stopping the inevitable. Yep. Hey, look at that overkill. You've lost. 
Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel inside the door beside the door. Oh. And then this is where the other part of the game is, besides the that. Not a hand. Those are the minis. Hey. I wonder how much I could brute force. Okay, I guess I'm not leaving now. Bring it here. Hi. Wolf. Oh. Now sit back down. Hi. Let me explain something to you. That was one of your two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? I mean, that's less of a learning opportunity and more of just being a dick and not explaining the rules. Another snapper, grizzly, bullfrog. What do you do? Car bearing this sigil will Block an opt opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. These options kind of suck. <laughs> I'm going to take another river snapper. Pulling out my deck for things that I... Uh, uh, if you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Choose one. So, do a single point of damage. Lift all of my creatures up to the tr up for the turn. Destroy one card of his. A rock may get you out of a hard place. I was kind of hoping for better options, but okay. Should have taken the scissors. It's bleeding yields three blood. If you can ignore the bleeding. I'm, I'm going to have to take that goat then. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items, you carried on. I don't like the look of this one. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeah, towards the prospector. Well, don't like any of this. Don't like any of this now. Coyote pack mule? The end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. Can it though, because of the coyote? Alright. Summon up you. Sack for a cub. End my turn. I want to see how this mule works. Might have been a terrible idea. Uh, draw one of these. Damn it. But I kill the mule if I can. I kind of need some defense up in here, though. Oh, it... Mm. 
Sorry, right, buddy. That's not how I wanted this to go at all. Balls. That was a net loss. Boulder can't be sacrificed, yep. There's nothing I got in my deck. I'm essentially using squirrels to block now. I could... I can essentially trade the, a wolf for another wolf to kill those. Kill the coyote. us even and then I've lost balls yep hey look I can prevent one damage and dead More gold for me! You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be a perfect memento of you. Here's some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please, choose a card to draw the cost from. Oh, gee. I'm glad you have given me such choices, sir. A cost of two blood from the river snapper. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Once again, fine selection. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. I... Yeah, I guess that's the one that we have the sigils with. I never did ask you your name. Well, there's now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? We do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. All right. Well, then I guess I'll put down a squirrel and summon a stoat. On the death of your creature, you gained a bone. Do not lose this until it is spent, or the battle ends. Okay. So I can summon up the squirrel, put down a wolf, and then some of the opossum. <laughs> Was I asleep again? Sorry, Stout. And then I just put down the opossum and it does the thing. Ah, god damn it. If I just keep it distracted, will I just 
Win. Good. Haha. <laughs> okay. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Right. I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. Uh, when we return... Creepy game is creepy. This is going to take a while. I suck with strategy. Like, I... Like, I suck with card games in general. Oh, boy. But, regardless, thank you everyone for so very much for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series as much as I hope that I'm going to enjoy it. And as always, I hope to see you guys also in the next video. Take care. Cheers.